These quick start tutorials are made using Marvelous Designer 11 and its new UI. If you would like to learn the software versions below 10, please visit our YouTube channel. For your convenience, every tutorial is made using the regular mouse settings. You can sew patterns without arranging them over your avatar, but arrangement points do help make sewing complex garments easier. Open a previously saved project file by going up to File, Open, and Project, or press Ctrl O as a hotkey. In the previous tutorials, you have made a men's long sleeve shirt. In my case, I have a short sleeve women's shirt. For ease of view, I will close up my library tab and my rightmost panel here. You do not have to do this, but it will be easier for you to see it. First, select the Select Move tool in the 3D window, or you can press Q as your hotkey. Using Control A, I am selecting all of my assets in the 3D window, right clicking, and choosing Reset 2D Arrangement. This will make my patterns match the 2D window in the 3D space. With my garments still selected, let's go ahead and click on the patterns in the 3D window and drag them out of the way so that we can see the avatar more clearly. Bring your mouse over to the avatar display icon in the 3D display window so you can find the arrangement points option. Select it to turn it on. These blue dots that you can now see surrounding the avatar are called arrangement points. Looking closely at these arrangement points, you can see that there are two different types of arrangement points. One type has a gray ring around it, and then the other does not. The ones with gray rings around them are called symmetric points. If you place a symmetrically linked pattern on these symmetric points, then the corresponding symmetrically linked pattern will be placed on that avatar's body on the corresponding symmetric point. Next, let's place our pattern pieces on these arrangement points. Select the front panel with the Select Move tool and drag your mouse over any of the blue dots. You will see a gray shadow, and here you can preview how the pattern will be placed. It looks like one of the screen right arrangement points will work for my needs. Since both pattern pieces are symmetrically linked, the symmetric pattern will automatically be placed as you can see. And next, we can do the same thing to these back pattern pieces. As you're placing these pattern pieces on the back of your avatar, you will notice that the front right pattern piece will end up touching the back left pattern piece as you see it in the 2D window. This visual indicator is a good example of why arrangement points are useful. Flipping over to the 2D window, we can see that the vertical side seams, which these arrows are pointing at, are pointing at the left back side seam and the right front side seam. These two seams will be sewn together. Lastly, let's move on to the sleeve. Selecting this right sleeve and then selecting the sleeve arrangement point on my avatar with a left click to place it. You can use the gizmo or property editor to adjust this arrangement. You can use the gizmo or property editor to make adjustments to your pattern placement. If you choose to use the property editor, make sure to select your pattern piece that is on an arrangement point and go down to arrangements in the property editor and you can see that there are X, Y, and offset axis options. All of the pattern pieces are arranged except for the patch pocket, so let's go ahead and toggle off the view arrangement points. Using the gizmo in the 3D window, we can go ahead and freely move this patch pocket closer to the avatar's shirt where we will sew this pocket on. As always, go ahead and save your project or file. And again, you may have a different pattern than I'm working with now, but just remember that we are going to be sewing in the next step. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials for Marvelous Designer. And if you have any more questions about our software, feel free to comment down below, check out our website, forum, or Discord channels linked in the description.